lady came on to the thing. <laughs> the open plains of the asphalt jungle, home to many creatures great and small, and the popping grunt and ground for one of the most clever and illustrious creatures, the plastic bag. Today we explore the cycle of life for this curious creature, the plastic bag, on its migration to its home. Pacific Ocean. Once released into the wild, the plastic bag is unsure of itself. It falters at first, but soon, with some help from the wind, the bag will be airborne. This flight will be the first in its long journey towards its final destination, the garbage patch in the heart of the Pacific Ocean. Using the wind to guide it, the plastic bag moves across the city through the air. A city park. This park may at first seem an idyllic place. per U.S. resident. We can compare that to 3.9 billion in Australia and 20 billion in Taiwan. So that's a whole lot of bags. The reason, so reasons that bags have become so popular are, is that they're cheap and they're relatively strong. They're lightweight, they're functional, they're hygienic, they're convenient. But the negative effects of plastic bags are it's what really important. It's what's really important here. They cause pollution, they kill animals, and they use up various natural resources. So I'm basically here to stress the importance of the negative effects of plastic bags and to suggest some alternatives. So when you throw away a plastic bag, where does it go? They usually end up in a landfill or as litter. When they're litter, they're on our streets, beaches, parks. Uh, they end up in oceans, on river or in rivers. Since plastic bags are so lightweight, they float easily in the air and they end up in trees and on poles and fences. I'm sure you've seen it. Um, yeah, so when they end up in the ocean, 90% uh, of all trash floating in the ocean is plastic. Uh, there's 46,000 pieces of plastic per square mile in the ocean. Um, they easily f uh, flow in ocean currents, and there's like a swirling vortex of current in the Pacific Ocean. And uh, there's one specifically off the coast of California, and it's called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's about twice the size of Texas, and out there, plastic outnumbers sea life six to one. It's pretty crazy. So uh, plastic bags also kill animals. Uh, over 100,000 marine mammals and one million seabirds die each year from plastic. 86% um, of sea turtles either die from ingesting plastic bags or um, being entangled in them. Uh, they confuse plastic bags with their natural food source, which are jellyfish. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, and what's, what's the, the saddest thing is that after an animal dies from eating a plastic bag, the body decomposes, but the plastic bag doesn't. So then the plastic bag is free to float around and take another victim, basically. Uh, so plastic bags aren't biodegradable. Instead, they photodegrade when exposed to sunlight, which means they break into smaller and smaller pieces slowly over time. And like you said, on land, it takes a thousand years for a bag to degrade. And in, in the water, it takes about 450 years. So basically, all the bags that are on today and the bags that are in consumption are going to be here for many, many future generations. Um, plastic bags are made from petroleum. And as you know, the prices of petroleum are going up, and the amount of petroleum that we have is going <coughs> down. Uh, 60 million to 100 million barrels of oil are, are used to make plastic each year. 8% um, of the world's oil is used to make plastic. And the amount of petroleum it takes 
to make one plastic bag to drive your car 36 feet, which is not super far, but it's kind of interesting to think about. Um, so recycling. One of the huge things about plastic bags and recycling is that only 1 to 3% of all plastic bags are recycled. It actually costs more money, or it costs more money to recycle a plastic bag than it does to make a new one, which is why they're abundant and everywhere, and retailers don't really recycle them very often. Um, so, what can you do? We can use reusable tote bags when you go like, to the grocery store or something. Just make sure you wash them because they can harbor bacteria. Uh, you can reuse the plastic bags that you already have, like sometimes I use them in my bathroom or like you take your lunch to work. Um, let's see. And you can recycle the ones that you already have also. Some countries have banned plastic bags, like uh, last year Italy banned plastic bags altogether if they're not biodegradable. Um, Ireland has imposed a tax on plastic bags, so if you go to the grocery store and you want plastic, you have to pay a 15 cent tax on every single bag. So that's cut bags, bag usage down 90% in Ireland. So basically, to reiterate, the positives have obviously made them popular over time, but the negatives uh, greatly outweigh the positives, and we should all do our best to reduce plastic bag consumption. Thank you.